Hey everyone, Cassandra Brooks here with AMI Clubwear, and as you can tell, I woke up late today. Um, so here's the scenario. You're laying in bed and you couldn't sleep all night, your alarm goes off, you hit snooze. Well, maybe you accidentally hit dismiss on your phone instead of snooze. <clears throat> Guilty. Um, so now you finally look at your phone again, you're like, oh, I'm feeling rested. Like that 10 minutes was, oh my gosh, it's 10 minutes out of 10, I'm supposed to leave. <laughs> that is horrible. Uh, that leaves you no time to do anything. You can't even shower. And obviously the day you wake up late was the day you were supposed to wash your hair. That always happens to me. Um, so I'm going to help you out with those days where you only have like two seconds to do your hair before you run out of the house with a bagel in one hand and your cell phone calling your boss telling you're late in the other hand. Um, so I'm going to help you save some time and a little bit of stress. So first and foremost, I want you to take a deep breath calm down it will be okay and now assess the time um, depending on how much time you have is going to dictate what you can do um, if you have time for a shower and I mean like a one minute and 30 second shower please take it first of all your co-workers will thank you it'll waken you up a little bit more um, and just you know make it easier for you to get ready quickly um, so just shower and when I say like a minute and 30 second shower I mean you hop in the shower you wash the goods and you get out you're good this is bad I'm like on day three of not washing my hair and it's like a mop like I could probably mold it to anything and it would just stay because it's so dirty and gross so what you're gonna want to do is get rid of the oil and get rid of the smell and now I have two products that will do that this is called dry shampoo I live by this bad boy um, it really saves my life this one is by Ojan and it's called full detox this will detox your hair of all that stinkiness and the oil and um, so this stuff I will show you how to use that in a second but this has been my go-to helper for years before I even knew about dry shampoo I just use baby powder um, so this is something if you ran out of the dry shampoo or you haven't bought one yet baby powder is something that most people have somewhere in their house whether it's under the sink or in the medicine cabinet or you have to steal it from your sister who just had a baby just grab some baby powder okay um, and for the baby powder you're just gonna want to put a little bit if you've never done it before I recommend putting it in your hands and you can kind of just rub your hands over your head and the baby powder will just gently fall in and then you're gonna want to rub your hands through it and this will blend it in this also works really great for my blondes if you have some roots coming in sometimes I use this in between um, going and getting my hair done and that kind of like blends in the roots a little bit too this will kind of however leave like a residue so if you have an itch on your head and you scratch it you will get baby powder under your fingernails but that's not really a big deal in the grand scheme of things for this stuff you really want to shake it up and you want to be in a well ventilated area so if you're in the bathroom turn on that switch or open a window something but this stuff is potent let me tell you so you're just gonna shake it up and spray it onto your roots and what I do is I just kind of spray and then I part spray part Okay, and this stuff is actually called a uh, rub out dry cleansing spray. So you need to rub it to activate it. And I just kind of rub it in and this activates it. And instantly, whew, so stinky is not ventilated enough in here. Um, ah, can someone turn on a fan? No, really, I'm like dying. <laughs> okay, I can breathe now. Thank goodness. Um, and I rubbed out or rubbed in all the dry shampoo and it gives me a lot of volume as you can see and it like really got rid of that greasy dirty shine like dingy shine we had going and now it's like kind of nice so you can go ahead and now you can just do your hair how you normally would if you want to leave it down and straight that's fine but me I'm like addicted to extensions so I hardly ever leave the house without extensions in my hair um, so what I normally do on days like this is I just put it in an up and my updos they always look a little bit different but it's just like the same hairstyle with like a different variation it depends on the day it always comes out different or I am a big fan of just pulling it back into a sleek ponytail this will give you a polished look obviously this isn't rocket science everyone knows how to pull their hair in a ponytail but when you're stressing out you might freak out and not know what to do um, you can always rely on a ponytail it's simple and it looks clean um, and now I'm going to show you one of my other favorite hairstyles this is just what I call like the sloppy bun um, it's not even really a bun you're just going to pull all your hair 
to the top of your head. As if you were doing a high ponytail, bring all your hair to the top. And you're just going to wrap the rubber band around once. When you bring it around twice, you're gonna pull the hair like halfway through. Now this rubber band, it depends on how stretchy your rubber band is. I have more give on this, so I'm gonna stretch it around again, but I'm still not pulling all the hair through. I'm just grabbing another little section, and this is like really sloppy, and I just kinda like pull different pieces through here and there, and it kind of, you can stretch it out, fan it out to make it look a lot bigger than it is. Um, so I like to wear this hairstyle when I don't want to put in my extensions because it gives me volume and it looks like I have more hair than I actually do. So that's why I like it. And of course, if you had time, um, you could spray this with, a, with some hairspray or um, you could possibly do this in the car right when you got to work. You could just do it in the parking lot. It would take you like 30 seconds. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you how I do this with my extensions for my girls out there that do like to clip in some hair for some extra thickness and length. So I'm gonna grab some of my extensions. Um, now you may notice my extensions are already curled. That's because I curl my hair almost every day and um, the hair is just kind of trained to be curly. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out because it's a little ratty. And we're just gonna clip this to approximately the same area where we had the ponytail before. I just place it on top of my head. I'm grabbing some bobby pins and I'm just sticking the bobby pins in to hold the hair in place. You'll need probably about four to six bobby pins. Once you feel like it is secure, you can flip your head back over and just do the same process that I showed you in the previous hairstyle. Another simple hairstyle that you girls actually requested was that faux corn roll look that I was wearing in the crafting with Cassandra and Megan. Um, so that's really simple and you could do this like really fast as well. So you're going to part your hair wherever you normally part your hair and just leave um, that side down. Then we're gonna start corn rolling on the other side. Um, these are faux corn rolls. Pretty much you're just twisting your hair. So you're gonna take, um, I guess about inch sections and part it all the way back. I just use my fingers, but you could use a comb. If you can't find the comb, just forget about it. But anyways, I take the back of the hair and I twist it. This just kind of keeps the shape. And then I start from the front again. And from the roots in the very front, I just start twisting. And I'm just twisting in the same direction and adding all the hair in as I go backwards. And once you get to the back of your head, you just take a bobby pin. You open it up and you stick it in backwards. So I'm sticking it in towards the little cornrow and it holds it. You only need one bobby pin. Uh, if you can't master that one, you can use two bobby pins going each way, but this is really simple. Just stick one in like that. And you just repeat this until you finish this whole side. You're probably gonna get like three to five depending on how big your head is. <laughs> So this is kind of edgy and it looks like you spent time on your hair, but really it only took you a few seconds to twist these ones back. If you had a little extra time, you could twist all of your hair and that would kind of almost give you like a half down, half up kind of feel. Um, or you can just leave your bangs, this side of your bangs, down in the front and you could put the rest of the hair up in a ponytail. So this is just really edgy. These are different variations. A lot of my hairstyles, like I was saying before, um, they're very similar, but I just switch one thing and it's a completely different hairstyle. Just gonna put my hair up really quick. And this is mixing the last two styles together. So it's the faux cornrows and we're gonna do the little sloppy bun thingy. Sloppy bun thingy, that's the official name. <laughs> now, as you can see right here, um, this ponytail holder is showing. Now, I'm kind of like crazy with that kind of stuff. I don't like it to show. So you can actually get um, rubber bands that match your hair color, or what you can do is just take some of your hair and pin it over the rubber band really easily with just a bobby pin. So now we have this really cute sloppy updo um, that hopefully everyone's going to love and they're going to think that you spent a lot of time on this morning. That's why you were late because you were doing this really cute hairstyle. Now you are ready to seize the day. You look like you woke up on the right side of the bed. And a little word to the wise, keep a bottle of Visine in your purse for emergencies like this. Because chances are if you overslept, um, your eyes are going to appear tired. Visine is my friend. My eyes, especially since I wear contacts, they get red really easy. I love this one. This one is Visine Maximum Redness Relief Formula. It is a miracle in a bottle. <laughs> ah.
Now to everyone else, we look well rested and well groomed. Job well done. There's hair on my thumb. <laughs> so now we look well rested and well groomed. Job well done. Thanks for watching girls. I hope this saves you some time next time you wake up without any time.